my dear Oliva, good gang, gang, gang. It's your girl Brie, and I'm back again with another video. I just want to take this opportunity, guys. Thank you so much to all 94 of my subscribers. Yes, 94 subscribers. I'm like six subscribers away from 100. I'm 900 away from 1,000. For supporting me and my YouTube channel. You guys have been super supportive, super awesome, super dope. And I just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart because it means the world to me. And if you're not a subscriber of the Diva Liva gang, hit that subscribe button, like, and comment, and definitely share my video to all who you want to share it with but um today guys the video that i'm going to be doing today is super duper personal my last video which the link will be in the description box was personal too but this one is super duper personal because i am talking about something that means the world to me that i'm in love with that i continuously think about daily and his name is brandon all right, y'all, so I'm always talking about um, Brandon, who is my brother, my younger brother, and he passed away four years ago on April 3rd, 2016. And this video basically is talking about life after his death. And you know, I am super duper nervous to even talk about it because I don't want to cry. And y'all see how beat I am today. So, you know, I don't want to mess with my makeup. But I feel like because I always talk about him on my social media, I talk about him every every time i post something or i refer to him in like my other videos to you guys i feel like why not bless bless like not bless but why not like talk about him you know what i'm saying or give a video in his honor because he's no longer with us today so today that is what my video will be about moving on so okay let's talk about it my mom and my dad has three of us me Bra brandon and braxton Brennan is my, he's my mom's second child and he's my younger brother, duh. I don't know why I'm getting so nervous to talk to y'all about this, like, calm down. Bring it back, reverse, whoop, calm down. Okay, <laughs> I had to say that y'all to get out the way. Now I can talk. All right guys, so I actually wanna talk about what happened to Brandon and then I'm gonna talk about life after he passed away. So there's, I don't know if you guys know, but um, his name is Brandon, Brandon Christian Lines. He died April 12th. Ugh. Oh my God, all right. <laughs> he died April 3rd, 2016. And it was all over the news because he was a student at Iona College and he died in New Rochelle, New York. Now what the blogs and everything was saying was that my brother died over a fight over a girl wrong answer he did not die over an old female because i saw that in the news in the press and if you like youtube it or even google it the article comes up or whatever and um they talk about him fighting over a girl that's a lie brennan i think he was in the wrong place at the wrong time he was a college student at a party i've been to college i know most of y'all my subscribers been to college or currently in college y'all know how it is when you go to parties and other schools are invited different people invite people who live in the neighborhood could come as long as you got id which i think is dumb but that's just the honest truth so he went to a party with his friends uh the three of the, these friends he went with um have been his friends all his life my brother he only lived until he was 19 but he only had four friends in his life that's it like uh john max abba terrell and justice and malik five of them those are the only friends he had from kindergarten up until his first year of college so those are the boys that he was going to the party with so you know sometimes you go to a party and you be at the wrong place at the wrong time someone got into altercation and then brandon ended up um dying he actually didn't die on campus he died at a park near his campus um he was out there with his friends being dumb being young teenage boys and i guess someone got into a little altercation and he was standing there and you know he's the one that so drastically died um uh with his autopsy he got shot he was shot but the funny thing is a bullet it was a sh straight bullet it went completely through him um it went through his back through his heart and out through his chest so he died instantly so it's not like you know that he felt anything he kind of felt like a real like he felt like somebody punched him in his back but you know god is the healer and the creator of all things that are amazing. And God's purpose is what we live for, you understand? So I think God had a reason of why he took Brandon home when he did. And yes, it's sad because definitely there's things that I wanted him to be a part of. Like my brothers are my everything. My parents split up when I was a lot younger 
and um, and um, you know they're all I had you know and being that I am the oldest sibling it was such a hard thing to um, you know be an example for them because one I'm a female I can't teach them how to be men so sometimes I will feel like I'm doing myself a disservice to my brothers because when my parents put up my dad moved out my mom was a single parent struggling you know to raise three kids so it's like I felt like I had a service to be all I can be for them because they're all I have you know or I'm all they have and you know I just felt like I was doing him a disservice but even though I couldn't teach them how to be men I, I mean I couldn't teach them how to be men but I could teach them how to be gentlemen you know what I'm saying like when you see a woman this is what you do or you know pull out her chair give her some flowers buy her some candy don't be cheap <laughs> like I would teach them stuff like that but you know it just sucks you know how I found out too was crazy I was at work I was working two jobs at the time and um I was a deaf interpreter at a school. Yes, I know sign language. <laughs> Zum um, I did sign in college. I was one of my minors. And then I worked in a jewelry store. So I was at the jewelry store when I found out that he died. And we went and we went and identified his body and all that good stuff. And, well, not all that good stuff, but it happened. And then, you know, you know, things calmed down after that. But my point of this video wasn't to tell the actual story of what happened to Brandon, but I wanted to talk about him, period. Brandon was a dope kid. A lot of people don't understand that, like, who he was because when we used to go out and stuff, he would be quiet and shy and timid. And when he'd come home, he wouldn't shut up. Ever. And I'd be like, you need to talk when we go out to churches and places like this because people think we in the house abusing you because when you come outside, you don't talk. You don't. You don't do nothing. But I'm at a point now in my life, yes, it's been four years since he died, but I'm at a point in my life where I can talk about it. And, you know, life after him has been a little challenging because sometimes, of course, like I have thoughts of like, damn, you know, when I do get married, I wanted him to walk me down the aisle. I wanted my brothers to walk me down the aisle the day that I get married. Um, I wanted him to be there to rub my belly when I told him I was pregnant. You know, I want him to be a part of so many things because he's been a part of my life my whole life. Brennan died, I was 22. You know, so from birth to 22, like, that was my whole son. He was my whole everything, you know? And it just sucks that, like, you know, he missed out on so much stuff after life, you know what I'm saying? If he was here during this pandemic, we would be doing challenges. We would be doing all kinds of dumb stuff in the house because I know that, like, that's the type of person he was. But, you know, life... The point, Brianna, get to the point. The life after him has been one of the most stressful, one of the most empowering, one of the most um, just different. It's been different. And it's been different in a good way. And it's, different, it's been different in a bad way. The only way it's been different in a bad way is because, like, I miss him. Duh. So, you know, I'm always at his grave, always laying there. His birthday, his death anniversary, my birthday, I go and, you know, spend time with him. But it's, it's his death brought a lot of good things because I feel like I used my brothers as a crutch. Like, I wasn't trying to be independent. I was always like, well, I can't do this because I have to worry about them. And, you know, him passing and Braxton now being 21, I feel like now, like, me, not saying no one made me do this. I feel like now that, like, I can really spread my wings and fly because I feel like now like you know I'm in a position where now I can do what I want to do and I have to worry about oh my god I hope they're okay or whatever because Brax is a grown-ass man and Brandon's not here anymore but life after when you lose someone when you lose someone when they when they die life your life continues and that's just the point life ha continues to go you know i thought when like i said when brandon died i quit my job i was home i quit both my jobs i was home for six months y'all i did not shower <laughs> don't judge me i didn't shower i didn't eat i lost my weight i was home for six months in my bed because i wanted to die i was like god like just take me to because i can't or whatever but um you know in that moment my life was on pause but at the end of the day I got back up and kept pushing. It's not an easy thing to deal with that. It's been four years and I still cry about it. But I feel like people, us as a people, need to understand that life does happen after we lose a loved one. Like, 
you're gonna make it and that's just the whole point of my video life continues after you lose a loved one yes in the moment it's difficult yes on the day that they died it's even worse or their birthday or if you just randomly home going through pictures and you and you see and you see a photo of them i'm not saying don't be heartless and you can sit and cry but don't stop don't stop being great don't stop being awesome don't stop being you know spontaneous don't stop being successful and i say that because from experience like i put my life on pause for a very long time because i was super depressed and i mean i even say that you could take however long you want to take because like i said grief like how i said in my um uh quarantine q a uh video grief is how you handle it nobody can tell you you can't cry forever you can but while you cry remember that listen all right you know what Come to think of it, I'm over here crying and stuff. Brandon wouldn't want me to be in this predicament. He'd be like, Brie, you better go back to school and get your degree. You better learn how to drive. You better learn how to be independent. You better learn how to do things on your own. Mommy ain't gonna be there forever. Or who, so-and-so ain't gonna be. You need to continue to be you. And I say that in all my videos, be you. Continue to grow, continue to nurture yourself, continue. You know what, spend time alone. And I feel like through this quarantine time too has been amazing for you to understand who you are. Sometimes when something drastic happens like that, it changes us dramatically. And I always say the experiences that we go through in life shape our reality and shape our future. So yes, that affected me completely. Like when it comes to friends, I don't trust people and stuff like that because you feel like, damn, like that's a situation where you feel like it could have happened a whole different way, but that doesn't stop me from loving. That doesn't stop me from getting into relationships. That doesn't stop me from trusting people. Yeah, now I mean, it's like a, you know, it's a process. The whole point is, is don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop going. Don't stop being great. Do the things that you know that that person would want you to do. Because, you know, they know that you would do that those things if they were still here. So do them even though they're not here. Do it in honor of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get my, my master's degree. I've been putting it off and playing games or whatever. I'm going to get it. And when I do get it, I'm going to go straight to Brandon's girl and be like, look, bro, I, we've been talked about this. We've been said I was going to achieve this. We've been, and here I am, I did it, and I feel great, and I got to share it with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to, yo, y'all got this. Life is hard. Life is so hard. Not just with grief and losing people, just life, period. Depression is real. Mental illness is real. But you have to learn that, like, life is going to be hard. So instead of sitting there and arguing and forcing it to be right, enjoy it. The, make it your own. Laugh at things that get you mad. <laughs> Kiki with people when you, when you really don't have the guts to go tell the person how you really feel. Make it more manageable for you. Manageable for you. Manageable manageable for you so you could get through it life continues after somebody dies life continues after things are tragic life continues after things are hard because why because you're here you woke up this morning that's another opportunity to be great that's another opportunity to do something that you put off we're here right you know people who have been sick with how I was sick with pneumonia or people who are sick with corona and they're here. It's like it's giving you a, another opportunity to be great. And that's how I had that's what I had to do to mentally prepare myself to move forward. Like Brianna, you woke up this morning, that's another opportunity to be a little better than you were yesterday. That should give you the the encouragement to push and keep going. Y'all, I love y'all. And yes, like I said. It's been a hard 40 years, but I'm getting better. I can make a video and talk about him. That's how you know there's progress. And nobody said it was going to take, you know, quick. It take, it's four years. And I'm finally actually talking about him on camera to you guys. Like, that's very hard too to do. But, you know, like I said, it's a process. It's progress. And I'm getting better. And I had to talk about Brandon because I feel like this is a video that needed to, for me to get out there. Like, you know, like he was an amazing person dope energy dope vibes awesome kid you know i miss him every single day but i was honored to be his sister and i'm honored for him to spend the amount of time that we did have you know in our lives together as kids and you know i feel like he's there watching over me you know spiritually and i'm in a better place now but in conclusion <laughs> i just feel like guys life does continue after somebody dies and it's your life and you only get one so don't 
Don't stay down too long. You know, if you need someone to talk to, find someone to talk to. If you need someone to confide in, find someone to confide in. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna make it is what I'm trying to say. You're gonna make it through. You know, you're gonna get through it. And you know, this video also is to encourage people to, you know, be there for one another, love each other, you know, especially when you know someone is going through something. Just be a support system for somebody. Because, you know, we all act tough and all that good stuff, but inside we're like dying inside. So reach out, be that person to reach out. Not even just, if any, just for nothing. Like, you know, call your best friend, call your friends, tell them you love them. Sometimes the little things is what help us, you know, get over the bigger wars. So I had to talk about him. This video was all over the place, like, my, like all my other videos, but I felt like I owed it to him to talk about him because I'm always referencing to him. And if you got, if y'all want to know the real story about um, what happened to him, I can make a video like, about that. Y'all comment down below in the comment section and tell me if you want me to talk about it. I will. But um, yeah, this is a good video. I'm happy that I talked about it, and I'm happy to let you guys know this is this is not just about me. This is about all of us to let you know that I'm a prime example that losing one of the most things that ever matter to me and I'm still here functioning you can do it too your friend could do it too your man could do it too your sister whoever we're gonna all get through this yes it's tough times but we're all gonna get through it y'all my diva divas y'all know I love y'all thank you so much for tuning in to this week's video like I said if you haven't so far subscribe like and comment on my video and drop Ideas, like I need ideas for content so I could drop every Wednesday. I want to be consistent with y'all. So let me know of any ideas y'all want me to do in my video. And I'll see you next week in my new video. Peace.